right, so now it's time for best of the best. This week we got best PlayStation 1 games. So Tom, kick us off. What are you going to argue as the best PlayStation 1 games here? Or Tom. We're going to go right down the, the line here. Best PlayStation 1 game for me, it's a it's a split, it's a tie. It's a real uh it's a real cliffhanger here between the two most hyped PlayStation 1 games of all time, Metal Gear Solid and Final Fantasy 7, who are both completely worth any sort of hype that they are given because they are two incredible video games that still stand the test of time today. Definitely. All right, I, I agree with those. I'll uh I'll echo those thoughts when I when I get to me. So what about <laughs> all right, you? What, so what about I, you? Tom, I actually agree with you. Uh, the only th you know the games are on my list. I just have them because you know I didn't want to be the same as Tom's, but I picked re two really good ones. Final yeah, Fantasy, Fantasy VIII sucks, dude. What? Final Fantasy VIII sucks, dude. You are, we gonna, even, are, are we gonna get into this you now? Didn't even play are we that. gonna get into this you now? Didn't Why do you do that? Why do you have to troll? All right, hold uh, on. Tough Life <laughs> FF8 sucks. You didn't even fucking play it, you piece of shit. Yeah, okay. didn't you give up after the first disc, or did you even get to the second disc? Yeah, you're. What's the last video yeah, game you actually played? He's just sitting there laughing because he. Uh, no, no yeah, FF8. FF8. It was awesome. No, uh, I, I, I was talking to Jeff, and I was. I, he was saying he wasn't really into the draw system, and or apparently a lot of people were weren't into it. Um, but it's one of the things you, you get used to, and I especially near the end, which is un, it's it's unfortunate because near the end was when I really, I mean, I I understood it to an extent, but like it wasn't until like the end of disc three where I was like, oh, I, now I really fully understand the draw system. Like you have to draw. Instead of instead of having magic, you draw from you draw from the enemies, different elements, fire, ice, yeah, whatever. That, instead of like stalking, what is it like like MP or whatever? You yeah. have to get your magic from the enemies, or you have to card them and refine them into yeah. into your magic. So and then uh, Resident Evil Two, great, like, uh, yeah, great, great, yeah, great yeah, fucking game. That. Yeah, the friggin' Leon and Claire discs. Funny, funny. Uh, so I had this game for a long ass time. I don't. I think the Leon uh, disc was in like my PS2, and then my mom somehow sold the PS2 to one of her coworkers. So I don't have the Leon disc. So when I played this, I had to play the Claire scenario, uh, and still really good. Still really good characters and and, and story. Uh, that again, sucks. That's now you can't game. you can't get the final ending now without yeah. the other disc. <laughs> my pick is going to be Police Knots. So if you if you haven't heard of this one or you don't know the story with uh, with Police Knots, then sequel go, to Snatcher, go, right? Go check it out. Spiritual successor to Snatcher. It's got it's got characters from Metal Gear in it. It's got it's pretty much Riggs and Murtaugh from friggin' what the hell is it? Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon, yeah. yeah. In space. Like they have different names. It's Jonathan and uh, and Ed, but like that's who they are. They look exactly like them. Yeah. There's references to Gillian from Snatcher in there, but. Um, the game actually never made it to the U.S. They planned a Saturn version, and then they may have planned the PS1 version, but a group of fans finished a fan translation for it a few years back, and you can, you can play it. you gotta, you got to have a modified PlayStation 1, or you got to emulate it to do it, so it kind of sucks. But you can download the friggin' patch if, uh, if you have the Japanese version, and it's awesome. It was actually designed to be played with the PlayStation mouse, so um, you can play with the controller, but it, it's it's a point and click. It's an, it's an, it's a you know it's a throwback to the old point and click games, and it's awesome. So check that one out. But for the most part, I, I agree with you guys on the other one. So we're we're gonna come back to this one at the end. Yeah. So hold that thought. Police knots though really kick ass. As far as PS One goes, I mean, such an enormous library. It's kind of hard to even like pick even three. But I would say Final Fantasy Tactics, such an amazing game kind of like revolutionized what I thought about RPGs at that time with the whole positioning system and like, you know, trying to like plan ahead for, for different strategies. Uh, such a good game. Tomb Raider was another game that just blew my mind when yeah. uh, back in those yeah, days. I loved, Tomb Raider was really good. loved the whole explorative like nature of the game because I had never really played a game like that before. Yeah, until that you know. Point, yeah, yeah. <coughs> also though, what, probably one of the best PS1 games, in my opinion, would be Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Yeah, yeah it's, it's argu argu arguably game. the best Castlevania game. I, I would say it's probably the best, just because the story yeah. was still pretty raw back then. Like, the DS Castlevanias that have come out more recently, gameplay-wise, have definitely trumped Symphony of the Night a little bit, 
in my opinion, but the stories are weak as fuck because every RPG on the DS has a weak story. It's just the way it is. And usually they have great gameplay and just the most basic story that you could imagine, but yeah. Symphony since, of the Night since, Wait, just... since, since you brought up Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Nick, uh, real quick, I want to say in uh, 1999, I let Pat Laval borrow my copy and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> so you can bring it back anytime. <laughs> yep. Not going to happen. Yeah, probably not. It's long gone. He's, he sold it for weed. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Better, Tom? Uh, yeah, any other picks? Or... Oh, wait. Well, I gotta, I gotta uh, agree with Tom. I mean, Metal Gear is probably my favorite series of all time. Uh, but Metal Gear One, uh, specifically, or I, I'll call it One, but you know what I mean by that. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, rather. Uh, just the dynamic gameplay, the memorable characters. Like it was all just a, a really good tie of uh, interesting storyline and uh, uh, just good mechanics. But I don't want to talk about it too much. Uh, Really quickly, and I know Nick, this is one of your favorite games as well. Twisted Metal or Twisted Metal, so good, yeah, um, amazing, amazing games. Like, and I haven't seen something so good in the series since. Really, like Twisted Metal Black for PS2 was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that one as well. But nothing. Maybe it's the nostalgia factor that brings it to 11. But Probably. those original Twisted Metal games, definitely. And uh, also in the line of uh, point and click, uh, Heart of Darkness. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played that. But it's uh, much along the lines of Dragon's Lair, really oh, okay. quick. Uh, and, you know, there's no on screen prompts, there's no real conveyance of any sense of what you're supposed to do. You just kind of figure it out and die a lot. But uh, visually, it's a really, really amazing. It's a fun, quirky game. And the story's really good, too. So those would definitely be my picks for PS1. Nice. nice. All right, so let's see if we can pick the best of the best then on this out, out of the uh, the ones mentioned. So I, I'll say, all right, let, let me let it's me start. Let honestly. me start. Let me start the argument right now. Okay, Final Fantasy VIII was better than Final Fantasy VII. No dude. way, okay. dude. <laughs> <laughs> you, right, Final Fantasy VII was hot. I shit. might have to okay. agree with you. Final actually. Fantasy VIII, I like better. Right? I actually <laughs> really like the story. Whatever. In the in the characters, uh, so good. Squall is a better introvert than Cloud. Okay, the the ending in Final Fantasy VIII was better than the ending in seven. What what else, Tom? What else are you gonna try and, gonna, I, and the relationship we relationship between him and Renoa <laughs> is really good too. I was gonna say that Bubsy 3D is better than Final Fantasy VIII. Right. <laughs> oh, shots fired. Here's here's what realistically though, I'd say if if I can do the best of the best, if I can speak for all. All of right, us. yeah. The other the other thing, Metal Gear Solid was. Completely groundbreaking at the time. Definitely, that, that one was awesome. So I don't know. That game so, uh, to me, that game still looks good. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it is because it's in it a way a nostalgic, very, it a but distinct, it just it has a very distinct look. To very it. much so, definitely. Yeah. And the, a lot of the little nuances they put in it with uh, simple things like with the the cigarette smoking and like just yeah. the visuals along with the polygons, like everything just worked out like really seamlessly. In that yeah. Game. And even just like during uh, Cinemax, like I, I liked how they got like real footage of like nuclear facilities. Just like it's just like that uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. extra layer of uh, you know detail. So, so do we have? Do we have what? I'd have to be a tie, a triple tie. What do we have? I'd have, to, I'd have to say, say Metal Gear. It has to be Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would have to agree with Nick. The library is so vast. Vi of, like, I'm gonna have to go with Bubsy 3D. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Bubsy 3D. But, as yeah. Put that on there as a joke. Metal Gear. Right, dude, he's so got our, so much our, tude. Our best PS1 game ever is Bubsy 3D. <laughs> All right, we did it. Sold. <laughs> no, nice. but but really, but really, number I think two we're, is Gex. I think uh, yeah. Oh man. I, th I think we're I think we're pretty much in agreement that it could either be Final Fantasy 7 or 8, uh, but definitely Metal Gear Solid seems like the more unanimous pick. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anybody can argue with that. All right, so three-way tie. Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII, and Metal Gear Solid. Best of the best PS1 games.